Hello. In this video, I'll tell you about Ada Web Pack. What is it and how to get started with it? This video is for Fosdema 2022. A short about me. I'm from Ukraine and uh, since uh, 2002, I'm developing a website for people interested in uh, Ada on XUSSR space. We have uh, a website, uh, mail list, uh, forum, uh, telegram chat, and recently YouTube channel. You can reach me on GitHub, uh, Telegram, or Gita. So what is Ada Webpack? This is toolkit uh, to develop a web application using Ada. Currently, web application is very promising technology because uh, there is a lot of uh, devices that uh, support uh, web applications. The list uh, of supporting devices start from desktop system, uh, laptops, uh, tablets, phones, car navigation system, uh, and so on and so forth. Since you develop uh, application uh, using uh, this uh, technology, it will be run on any such device. Ada Webpack uh, includes uh, WebAssembly to chain, customizer other runtime library, and uh, web binding uh, for API supported by browser. What is WebAssembly? This is a virtual machine with a portable binary format for executables. This virtual machine is capable to embed in a host environment and this includes browsers and currently every modern browser support virtual machine for web assembly the web assembly development uh, as a language independent uh, and if you look at the list of uh, supporting languages uh, you will find the most of them uh, use uh, llvm as backend llvm is uh, a tool chain uh, built around uh, well-documented uh, intermediate representation. Uh, this uh, package contains uh, many front-ends uh, that uh, takes uh, high-level language uh, such as Ada and uh, generate intermediate representation. And also it has many backends that uh, from given intermediate representation generate binaries for some target, for example, WebAssembly. For current uh, project, we're interested in Ada frontend and uh, WebAssembly backend in LLVM. Both of them are currently available. For frontend, uh, we use uh, not LLVM. This project on GitHub uh, and uh, it uh, join uh, not frontend. Uh, for Ada and uh, LLVM backend uh, to generate binaries. Uh, after compiling not LLVM, you will have a bunch of uh, executables like uh, LLVM GCC. This is a compiler. You can uh, feed them with uh, uh, Hello World ADB and uh, get uh, binaries generated by LLVM. And uh, what also interesting for us is that uh, this uh, toolchain is um, known by Jupyter uh, Build tools. There is a dedicated uh, target, and uh, when you call Jupyter Build with uh, target LLVM options, Jupyter uh, Build will find uh, LLVM toolchain binaries and use them to generate uh, the code. So how to compile uh, 
either to WebAssembly. First, you need to pass the target LLVM switch to the compiler. This will tell LLVM the target system. Secondly, you also need to provide the target dependent information to GNAT because otherwise uh, GNAT will use uh, your host environment as a target and uh, this is not correct because uh, your host is uh, 64 bits and uh, WebAssembly is uh, 32 only. Target independent uh, information contains uh, size of uh, some, some basic types like integer, float, double, pointers and so on. Target information uh, locates in a file that we provide for WebAssembly and uh, you point uh, to this file with uh, not uh, ET option on command line. And as I mentioned before, you also need uh, target LLVM if you use Jepper build to build your project. This way you will get uh, two target options uh, if you use repair build. One option for compiler and uh, another option for repair build. Uh, it's a bit strange, but it's required. Then you will have binaries, but uh, this is not enough uh, because uh, to get uh, working uh, executable, you need a uh, runtime. Not uh, runtime based on POSIX and uh, this uh, doesn't match a WebAssembly environment. Uh, that's why we developed uh, a custom runtime based on uh, barrel board, uh, not runtime. Such runtime exposes restriction of WebAssembly and uh, a list of this restriction includes uh, no exception except local exception handling, no nested program access because uh, access to nested program requires uh, trump lines and uh, this is not possible in uh, WebAssembly currently. Also, you cannot use uh, task and protected object because uh, WebAssembly doesn't allow uh, stack manipulation uh, required to task. Also, our runtime contains a custom memory allocator based on TLSF algorithm, which has nice properties like simple implementation and predictable time of operations. This allocator use host environment to get additional piece of memory when it lacks space. Besides uh, GNAT Runtime, we also provide uh, some packages to support uh, WebAssembly development and uh, the core uh, such package is uh, wasm.objects. It allows you to pass uh, pointers from uh, JavaScript space to ADA. WebAssembly virtual machine is um, separated from JavaScript machine and you cannot uh, pass the JavaScript uh, pointer uh, into ADA space. For ADA object you can get the access and uh, convert it to integer and pass to JavaScript but this doesn't work in other direction. To overcome this, uh, we provide a package that um, contain mapping from uh, JavaScript objects used in your program to some integer identifiers. Then you can use the such identifiers to call uh, JavaScript methods and uh, read and write uh, object attributes for JavaScript objects. 
to work with uh, web api in the browser uh, we provide web api binding and uh, the core package of this uh, binding is uh, web strings it provides uh, abstractions that uh, uh, represent strings and uh, you can convert uh, usual uh, ADA string to uh, object from this package and then use uh, such object in uh, web API uh, elsewhere. Most rich uh, web API is web DOM. This uh, API uh, allow you to interact with um, representation of the page in the browser. If you worked ever with a DOM API, you will find this uh, very familiar. The DOM uh, contains uh, types for nodes, uh, documents, uh, element uh, of the documents and uh, corresponding functions like uh, get element by ID. It also provides uh, types for events, event target, event listener, uh, Using the procedure like uh, add the event listener, you can attach a handler for some events on nodes in DOM tree. On, on top of this binding, we provide a web HTML package that um, let you work with um, HTML elements like uh, button, inputs, uh, forms, uh, and so on. The topest uh, element is a web window that uh, let you wait to get access to the document uh, and uh, start uh, working with the page. Another interesting uh, binding is a WebGL. WebGL is a API to render two dimension and third dimensional graphics. Uh, and uh, this API includes uh, objects, buffers, uh, shaders, uh, textures, and uh, so on. This standard uh, supported by uh, most uh, modern browsers and uh, let you develop a very nice looking uh, applications. To communicate between the server and clients, uh, we provide binding for web sockets and uh, XML HTTP request. Uh, web sockets is a bidirectional bi protocol, while uh, XML HTTP request let you execute a simple request like get, post, put, uh, and so on over HTTP. So how was uh, the simplest uh, web application looks like. Firstly, you need uh, an HTTP file with uh, elements uh, to interact with the user. In the current demo, uh, this is a paragraph uh, with hello world text and a button uh, with uh, hello ada title. Button is uh, initially disabled and the text is hidden. On the other side, we declare a listener that will react on a click event. This uh, handler uh, will find the paragraph by ID and uh, set hidden property on this uh, element. Uh, to false. To initialize the demo, we provide procedure initialize demo that uh, find uh, the button and uh, attach a listener uh, to this uh, button and uh, enable the button. Overall structure of ADA program contains an empty main to demonstrate that uh, actual code execution uh, is on JavaScript side. The main includes uh, a demo package and uh, initialization of uh, the demo package is uh, in the package body. To launch uh, this application, you need a piece of uh, JavaScript. 
this is uh, required uh, because uh, JavaScript uh, used to load uh, WebAssembly application and uh, start um, the WebAssembly virtual machine. JavaScript code is uh, very small and uh, doesn't change much between the project. You can just uh, copy paste uh, these several lines uh, to your project and this will should work. As you see, other webpack contains uh, lower level uh, to develop a web application and uh, perhaps uh, to create uh, a future application you need uh, more high level uh, stuff. We provide several repositories um, to help with this. Uh, first um, repository I would like to mention is uh, Adagi. It's uh, a common API for WebGL and OpenGL and contains a common um, specification it, and two uh, different implementation, one for native uh, OpenGL application and another for WebGL web application. It simplifies uh, development a bit. Another repository is uh, Ada Web UE. It is the set of uh, widgets uh, to simplify the web development. And uh, third uh, repository is uh, reimplementation of uh, Annex E distributed system Annex in Ada reference manual that. Uh, let you hide uh, all details uh, for client server interaction. Uh, you describe uh, the client server like uh, usual ADA package and um, then split uh, your application to two parts. One of them uh, will be on server and another will be on client. Uh, to demonstrate uh, what we already can do, I shall show you a simple demo. This uh, is a rotated cube uh, and uh, you can um, interact with it uh, with mouse uh, pointer. And uh, how can you get started with Ada Webpack? There is a dedicated uh, repository on GitHub. It uh, provides all required uh, sources and uh, instructions how to start. Uh, you can uh, build it uh, from sources, but uh, it's a bit uh, hard because required um, synchronized commits from several repositories. So instead, we recommend to use a Docker. And uh, our page contains some instruction. You just uh, create a Docker image uh, and uh, use this image as replacement of a repair build. Uh, there is also binaries uh, released um, on the page. Current release uh, has uh, RPM for Fedora and uh, binaries for Ubuntu. Besides this, we also provide uh, MCS2 package in binary format. You just install this uh, as usual uh, with your package manager and uh, get the working environment. Uh, after that, you can uh, Compile examples. We have several examples uh, in the repository. And that's all for me. If you have any question, uh, you're welcome. Right. Yeah. Instruction to install GNAT LLVM is on uh, 
GitHub repository in a readme file. It suggests uh, to use source uh, to build uh, not LLVM uh, from sources. Uh, but uh, there is diff difficult with it uh, because uh, you need uh, synchronized commits uh, from several repositories. Uh, you should synchronize uh, not LLVM sources with uh, not sources. Uh, and this is the most difficult part. Uh, uh, because sometimes uh, not all of them hmm. did we lose the connection ah. Okay, Maxim, there appear to be some technical problems. You were dropped out for some time and our fare is uh, is gone as well. You may want to repeat the last uh, answer that you gave. Okay. I mean uh, that uh, the height for build of NAT LLVM is on uh, GitHub page of NAT LLVM source uh, and uh, you need to get the sources and build it from source. But it's difficult because you need synchronized commits from GNAT sources and GNAT LLVM sources. There's two different repositories. Okay. I must confess, I am lost a bit in what questions have already been answered uh, as I was busy in another room. Um, was the question answered about uh, whether there are any performance benchmarks? Is it known how ADA WASM compares to other languages? Is one question. No. So the question was whether there are any performance benchmarks available. I see Fer is back. We didn't uh, do such uh, Oops, we are having quite some technical issues. <laughs> okay. It's not important for us to have a high performance for GUI application, but uh, I expect that Ada is uh, as good as other languages. Uh... Okay, I see that the broadcast will stop.